This week, we've scooped a story of religious discrimination at Frito-Lay. I'm Erica Domingo, and this is a Toxic Workplace Report at home. So let's dive right in. Frito-Lay, one of the world's foremost snack makers that employs over 55,000 people throughout the United States, is alleged to have discriminated against one of its employees based upon his religious beliefs. In 2019, Johnny Toussaint was promoted to be a root sales representative within Frito-Lay. As part of his promotion, Toussaint was required to attend training, which included working on the weekends. However, because of his religious beliefs as a Seventh-day Adventist, he made a formal request to not have to work on Saturdays, his religion's day of rest. His direct supervisor told him he could not be accommodated and that if he did not come to work on Saturdays, he would be fired. Sure enough, after missing two Saturday trainings in a row, Toussaint was fried, I mean fired. Toussaint filed a complaint for religious discrimination through the EEOC in Miami, and they recently reached a $50,000 settlement on his claim. EEOC attorney Oshia Banks said that this case serves as a reminder that employers must carefully consider requests made for accommodations based upon their employees' sincerely held religious beliefs. Frito-Lay also agreed to have requests for religious accommodations reviewed by employees at a higher level who have been properly trained in Title VII. Although religious discrimination doesn't make the headlines quite as often as many of the other forms we talk about, it is still protected under state and federal law. Thanks for watching this week's TWR. If you're glad we're back after our brief hiatus, let us know in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe so you can catch us next time.